Well guys, today is finally the day we are getting our barn. We ordered the barn in early January, so we've been waiting patiently. It's now towards the end of March. They had to build the barn and they had to find a date where it wasn't raining and stuff to be able to deliver it. It is actually supposed to rain later this afternoon, but hopefully they can get here before that starts to happen. One of the things I'm gonna be doing here is laying a couple six by sixes down the center because we do plan on parking a lawnmower tractor or something on this side. We actually ended up moving the um, double doors over to this side because it's flatter and it's a lot longer this way so you can fit in a longer um, tractor or something if we wanted to. Um, we ended up also upgrading to the high capacity floors which is um, 12 on center rather than 16 on center just closer floor joists, thicker floor and they went from the 4x4 runners to the 6x6 runners. So. Just beefed up all the wood a little bit just to add a little bit more support. It's supposed to be a 100 pounds per square foot rating for that floor. But I do plan on beefing that up a little bit more just in case. But yeah, this, these are both 8 foot long 6x6s six six here. So it gives us about 16 extra feet of um, support underneath the middle. Because the way these barns are built, they have two runners on this side, two runners on the other side. And the, um, what do they call it? Anyways, when they haul the barn in here, they have the um, they have wheels set on either side of those runners on the middle, and then they also have um, the little cart that helps push everything into place here. Little vehicle, whatever it's called, the mule. The mule is what I'm looking for. They have a mule that comes in here and um, basically arranges it. They take it off the flatbed. Anyways, I do plan on trying to film if they allow me to film as much as I can here. I'm taking the, most of the day off so I can help out with this. Um, we'll see how it works. The biggest concern I have today is just getting the barn down the driveway since it's so narrow. Well guys, they're on the way. Let's see if we can get them up this driveway. We'll see if I can film. I don't know if I'll be able to film, but I'll at least show you the end product today. We're making it guys. I'm just going to do little snippets here and there if I can. He's got a fancy trailer that'll help us out. Looks like we about got it here, guys. Doesn't look like we'll be able to use those 6x6s after all. This is the fanciest thing. We need these on RVs right here. You can kind of move that wherever he wants to move it. Adjust the height so we can account for the slope. Look at that. You can lower that one. I'm telling you, someone could put that on an RV be very rich. All right guys, so we got it level. I'm just holding my GoPro in my hand, so I'm sorry if the audio screwed up or if it's not very stabilized. But we got the double door up front. We are gonna have to build quite a significant ramp up here because he did use the four 
inch blocks rather than the two inch blocks, which is actually okay because with the four inch and the six by six, it's actually 10 inches of clearance. So if I did want to put that six by six in there, I might be able to get under there and do that myself. So if not, it does slope down. So I could probably come in from the other side and kind of move things around. So it'll be a tight squeeze, but I think I could probably do it. So that's something we weren't expecting, but it's actually good. <laughs> the I thought the height was going to be six foot doors, but it's actually about five foot ten. Just got to make sure you duck before you get in there. But yeah, even with or the huge foundation I put in there, all that gravel, he still had to raise it up quite a ways because he raised it up so much in the front. So whenever you raise it up in the front, it was already sloped a little bit. So it had to go up quite a bit in the back. So I guess we had basically about six inches off on the slope. So still needed even more gravel, <laughs> but we got a level, so it should work out just fine. Quick little inside tour. It's not gonna be much because we don't really have anything in here, but we did get the 12 by 28 barn with the, there's a four foot loft on this side and a four foot loft on this side. So plenty of room to put some storage up there. Do they put a screen on this one too? Yeah. So they have the vents, but they also put a bug screen in there. So that's good. So they don't have bugs coming in those sides. I was wondering about that. We do get the high capacity floors in here. So rather than a half inch um, plywood, they use three quarter inch. Instead of 16 on center, they use 12 on center. Instead of four by four runners, they use six by six runners. So floor should be pretty sturdy. What I was thinking about doing is maybe where I park a tractor or something in here. Um, I would just put another sheet of plywood over the top just to reinforce so we don't somehow break this three quarter inch plywood. I'm sure it's fine, the 12 on center, but just to double up a little bit, make sure we're good to go. And everything else, well, it's just a barn. So <laughs> it's gonna be used as a storage barn mainly, but eventually I think I do wanna build out this corner and make it a wood shop. Just put a little workbench and stuff back in the corner there. It's not gonna be massive. And someday I'll run electricity out here as well. But for now, it's just going to be a storage barn to put some of our tools and stuff inside of it. Ah, so happy this is here. <laughs>